The MPCA and the people running the 3M Settlement Trust Fund are looking for ways to protect groundwater, not just to today's standards, but for many decades into the future. The drinking water in the East Metro is considered safe by state regulators, but they're looking to spend $700 million to treat groundwater that contains so-called forever chemicals, part of the legacy of 3M innovations that made life more convenient. We are providing right now safe drinking water based on the values that are protective of the most sensitive population. What we're doing in these options are we're trying to build resiliency in case of change. The MPCA and 3M Settlement Trust announced three options for treating water from city and private wells to an even tougher standard than what's allowed now. In one option, Lake Elmo and Oakdale would eventually pipe in water from St. Paul's treatment plant. But then talking to the local communities, a very strong concern of moving the, the surface water they're very supportive, staying on groundwater versus moving the, the surface water. The chemicals have been linked to cancer in lab rats, and at least one study links them to premature and low birth weight babies. But the Minnesota Department of Health does not see a cause-effect connection. But we need to protect them. We need to be protective with these values and ensure that they don't develop in the future, which is why... Um, we set them as protectively as we can. This marks the start of a 45-day public comment period on the plans. You can go to the website 3msettlement.state.mn.us to weigh in on the different options. You can also attend public meetings scheduled later this month. For CARE 11 News, I'm John Croman. Well, the goal is to adopt a final plan in early 2021 that would guide water treatment in the East Metro for the next 100 years.